And joining us now is the Democratic State Party Chairman, John Curry. Mr. Chairman, welcome back to the program. Mike, good to be with you. Uh, so you've got a different power base you're working with right now, a different team running things in the State Assembly. Uh, Speaker Oliver is out. Speaker Prieto is in. You comfortable with that? I am very comfortable with it. Uh, Finney will do an excellent job. Uh, I've worked with him in the past. I think he was an excellent budget chair. He brings people together. He works well with, with uh, people. So uh, I'm looking forward to him to continue his good work and uh, keep the pressure on down there. There are, there are some who say, you know, first of all, you had a woman in that position, a woman of color, mm -hmm. who, you know, you don't have all that many people like Sheila Oliver in positions of power. What did she do wrong that cost her her job? Well, I don't think she did anything wrong. I mean, you know, Mike, it's, it's tough. She served two terms. Not too many speakers to get two terms and no more. Uh, as we can go back, uh, look at Joe Doria. He was tremendous, and uh, when it was time for a change, uh, it's just time it for was change. time for a change. Uh, Barbara Buono, uh, when she left on election night, she didn't leave happy, and she took some very strong shots at her party. Did, did her party let her down? No. Uh, Mike, for number one, it's not a single county organization that did not endorse, support, or raise money for Barbara Bono. You know, had many, many events for her. Essex Worked Essex very County? hard. What about Joe DiVincenzo in Essex Well, Joe, she still had the party line. Okay. You know, the party did not let her down. Maybe people let her down. Did she run a bad campaign? Uh, you know, she, 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 she worked hard. She really worked hard. You know, from the day that she was nominated, Barbara gave it hundred and ten percent. Could anybody have beaten Chris Christie in your opinion? Chris Christie is a special Republican politician and it would have been tough for anyone to beat him you know at this time right now in the state of New Jersey he has his own brand and but it doesn't it doesn't carry over I mean he he did not help his party. You may have lost what two a couple of incumbents it appears right well, now. Well, listen, uh, we are we will see. I think we might have lost one, but we're still mm -hmm. close. You know, provisional still have yet to be counted. Mm -hmm. uh, don't have a count from the different uh, counties yet. So it's very very possible down in the second district and we had a, we're still in a tight race up in 38. Talk to me about the Senate race where uh, the Senate Republican leader Mr. Kane had made very strong statements and made a very bold move in trying to not only take control and predict that he would take control of the Senate, but to knock off the Senate President Steve Sweeney. What the results? What do the results there say to you? Well, I think uh, Senator Kane is weakened today because of it, because uh, Senate President Pavel, and you know he's probably stronger than ever right now. Well, when you say that, I, I, I give a pause for a second there to say, is he, in terms of where we stand right now, and it's early, but, you know, we, we always do this in the world of covering politics, is he your, your, uh, your favorite at this point uh, for the next Democratic candidate for governor, do you think? Well, I don't know who's going to come out, but I tell you, he's sure on the short, short list, I would say. What, uh, what about your future right now as leader? I mean, we heard Senator Buono um, thank you but also, she was still mad that Jason O'Donnell did not get that job the first time around. First of all, did it bother you that she, that she brought that up? Do you think that it was a good thing to do? Well, I don't think it was the place for that. And uh, I'm uh, somewhat disappointed in uh, her speech. It, just that or overall? Just disappointed in her speech. Okay. Uh, another term for you as leader, as well, chairman? Well, listen, I'm going to sit down with people, my family, people that are close to me, uh, next week, and we'll make a decision on that. Would you like to? I'm, well, when, when, sometimes, you know, I hear that, and I, it's, it's people are saying that's their way of saying, you know, I don't think I'm going to do this again. Is that what you're kind of well, saying? Well, listen, I, I'm not saying I'm not going to do it yeah. again, but, you know, I want to get some opinions, and if I can, listen, I love Passaic County, first of all, and that's one thing. I want to keep Passaic County as so you, chair. So you would stay as chair of I would as stay Passaic as Passaic County. County. That's, and I want to just make sure that I can balance that along with business and do an outstanding job uh, for the state party. And if I can figure that out, you know, we'll wait and see on that. All right. And when you do, you give us a call. Okay? I sure will. Mr. Chairman, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me.